there's £20,000 at stake. That's what this massive golden wall is worth. Can Rachel and her two dads scoop the jackpot? Or will the wall get the better of them? Decimate. This is Decimate. Decimate. Welcome to Decimate. There's £20,000 up there on the wall. The question is, though, how much of it will today's team hang on to? There's only one way to find out. Let's go and say hello to them. <laughs> Aha! We've got Peter, Rachel and Rob. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Rachel, as you're the only lady in the team, tell us a little bit about yourself and the two gentlemen with you. So, uh, to my right, I've got my dad. Hello, Peter. Dad. Hello. Okay. Um, and then to my left is my spare dad, Rob. Hello, spare dad. So, Hello. these guys have been together for about 25, 26 years. And so what do you do for a living, Rachel? I'm an accountant, so... Okay, so, you're good with numbers? In theory, yeah, I'm good with spreadsheets. There's okay. a difference. <laughs> we're dealing with a lot of numbers in today's yeah. game, a lot of money. Peter, how are you, Peter? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, what do you awesome. do for a living, sir? Uh, Rob and I own a cafe. Oh, where uh, else? In Bournemouth. And how long have you had the cafe? Oh, we've had it for three years. Really? OK, yeah. Rob, how are yes. you, mate? So you run the cafe with Peter? Yeah, we do. Yeah, and there's about, actually, 20 of us. Yeah, it's quite a big, big team. old team. Well, listen, guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. We're going to win as much money as we can today, OK? Here's how it works. Now, the golden wall is worth £20,000, and it's divided into ten columns, so they're worth £2,000 each. One at a time, I'm going to ask you to step forward and face ten questions. That's one per column. You get a question right, and that column is safely protected. And your money will stay in the game. But should you get a question wrong, this is what happens. Decimate. Right. You don't want that. No, you, you don't want that, because that, that column will be wiped out and the money will be lost for good. Now, you must protect as much money as you can, because when all three of you have played, that's what will be at stake in the end game. So, have you got it? Yes. Okay. So, yep. we have an important decision okay. to make, guys. Who is going to play round one? And to help you to decide, I'm going to reveal some key words. And these are going to appear in the first round of ten questions. So, should we have a look at them? Yes, sure. Okay. Let's, let's here, here are your keywords. We have ravens, packed, mile, dance, tour de France, Henry, Richard the Third, Rome, olive oil, Pinocchio. All those words will appear in the questions. Okay. So we've got to decide who's going to play first. What do you reckon, guys? Who uh, wants to step up and face the wall? £20,000. Come on, let's have it. Who's okay, it going to well, be? I'm on the end. Shall I go? Yeah, let's do it. Before, though, I ask you to step forward, Rob, we're going to ask Rachel and Peter <coughs> to try and give you as much information to do with these keywords as possible. OK, I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Don't let me down. Your briefing okay. starts now. OK, Raymond's okay. Birds, obviously. Uh, yeah, Tour de France is a cycle race. Yeah, uh, Bradley, Bradley Wiggins, Wiggins was the first one. Uh, last year, I won it. Last year, I won it. Uh, I'm Froome. not sure who went. Is it Chris Froome was the year before? Chris Froome, Froome. Froome. Yeah. Who's Richard uh, the, What was Richard the third? Um, uh, King, he was, his body was found in the car park. Yeah. Um, fairly recently. Packed, Italian. Oh, olive oil also put on. Uh, packed. What's packed on back? Well, that's, you make a pact with somebody, don't you? OK, your time's up. Right. Rob. Did that really help at all? Not at all. <laughs> okay, right. It's all down to you, sir. Okay. It's time to step forward and face the golden wall. Good luck. Yeah, the family are right behind you, Come mate. Come on. So we have twenty thousand pounds on the wall and ten questions. Each one you get right means that two thousand pounds is going to be safely through to the next round. But should you get one wrong, you're going to lose two thousand pounds, okay. and it'll be gone forever. If there's an answer you're not sure about, you can pass back the question to your teammates. Or if they think you've given a wrong answer, they can buzz in. Overrule you and change your answer. But throughout the whole game, you only have five passbacks and five overalls. So okay. make sure you use them wisely between all three of you, okay? All right. You ready to play, Rob? Let's go. Here comes your first question. Question number one. This column is worth £2,000. According to legend, the kingdom will fall if the resident ravens leave which London landmark? Is it St Paul's Cathedral, Hampton Court Palace? or the Tower of London? Well, Shane, I thought I knew the answer before it came up. And yeah. I think I do. Do you? It's what do you think start, it is? isn't it? I'm going to go for Tower of London. Do you want to lock that in? I definitely want to start the game by locking it in. Let's lock in the Tower of London. Is Rob right? Yes, yes. we're up and running now, mate. As we move on to question number two. During the Cold War, which European capital gave its name to the pact between the Soviet bloc countries? 
is it? Budapest, Warsaw, or Prague? The Warsaw Pact. Rings a bell. It yeah. sounds right. I'm going to go for Warsaw. Well, so, shall we lock in Warsaw? Let's lock it in. Peter and Rachel think you might be right. Is Warsaw the right answer? Ah, oh, well, 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 look at that. See? Well played, Rob. Question number three. How many yards are there in a mile? 1,560, 1,660, or 1,760? This takes us back now, doesn't it, doesn't hey, it? Do you know what? I was just going to say, Shane, this is the sort of thing you always know at school. Yeah. Can you remember it after all those years? I don't remember being at school. <laughs> Were you at school? <laughs> yeah, it was approved by the Queen. Yeah. OK, well, it definitely rings a bell that it was going to start with a one and a seven. You want to lock that 1760, in? 1,760, let's lock that in. Now, if we get this right, it's going to keep £20,000 on the wall. Is Rob right? Yes! yes. <sighs> I've got it's everything right, isn't it? I've got a great start, three in a row. Oh, I'm glad Question I, number four, I'm I don't want to come now. up for breath now. Let's do this, here we go. The 1909 painting dance, which depicts five nudes linking arms in a circle, is by which artist? Is it? Henri Matisse, Pablo Picasso, or Gustav Klimt? OK, so I do think that Gustav Klimt was a much of a very particular style. I don't think it sounds like a Pablo Picasso one. I don't think that they would know either. I don't think Peter oh, would know. Oh, you've got faith in the family, well, haven't you, Rob? I don't think Peter would know. No. He'd never heard of any three of them. <laughs> um, I'm going to go on a... Fingers crossed for Matisse. We stick with Henri Matisse. Henri we lock Matisse. it in. Let's lock it. Let's in. lock in Henri Matisse. Is Henri Matisse right? Yes. Oh, oh. was that really a guess? Oh, I do like a good <laughs> hunch. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to halfway now. This is question number five, okay. and we still have twenty thousand pounds on the wall. The Tour de France rider with the most points in the climbing stages wears a jersey with which pattern? Is it stripes, polka dots, or squares? I think Rachel would know the answer to this. I personally would go for stripes. If you go for it and she wants to overrule, she oh, can well, do. Oh, that's a point. So I am going to go for stripes. So, and I'll see if anyone overrules me. Should we lock in stripes? Lock in the stripes. Rob is locking in stripes. Go on. Ooh. And Rachel is straight on the buzzer for the first of five overrules. Rachel, you think differently. I do think differently. And I think it's a white jersey with red polka dots. So we're going to change stripes to polka dots. Let's lock in polka dots. Peter, you're just nodding with a, no a big idea, grin. No idea, Shane. No idea? No idea. To keep £2,000. Column number five. Was Rachel right to overrule? Yay! You are halfway through with 20,000 still on the wall. This well is done, very Rachel. exciting. <laughs> Rachel, well done, sweetheart. To protect another 2,000 pounds. Question number six. Who plays the adult Henry in the 2009 film The Time Traveller's Wife? Is it Eric Banner, Matt Damon, or Guy Pearce. Seen the film? Haven't seen the film. Haven't heard of the film. Oh, really? It would just be a guess, and I've got no punch on this one. So what would you like to do, Rob? I think Rachel will probably know the answer to this more than Peter will. So would you like so to pass back? Pass it back. OK, Rob's going to pass back to Rachel and Peter. It's down to you guys. It's Eric Banner. Yeah? Yeah, definitely Eric oh, Banner. So with said confidence. That. Let's <laughs> lock in the answer, Eric Banner to keep £2,000 in column six. Wall, is Eric Banner the right answer? Rachel, you are good! <laughs> Look at that wall right oh, there. Isn't that a lovely sight? <laughs> As we move on to question number seven. Richard III died during which battle? The Battle of Edgecote Moor, the Battle of Ludford Bridge, or the Battle of Bosworth Field? I am not sure that Rachel would know this. I'm not really sure that Peter knows this sort of history. 
So I'm going to let them overrule me if they do know. OK. I'm going to have to have Bosworth. You want to lock in the Battle of Bosworth Field? Not really, but I will. <laughs> Let's lock it in. They don't know either, then. Don't know. They might think you're right. Wall to protect another £2,000. Is it the Battle of Bosworth Field? Yes! Oh, my... <laughs> Did you know that, by the way, Peter? Yeah. So you knew he was right? Okay. Yeah, because he yeah. was there. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <coughs> he sold the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> what well, a great sight, look at that. So far, we're still oh, on wow. course for £20,000. So we move on to question number eight. The city of Rome stands on which major river? Is it Tiber, Piave or Arno? Been to Rome? I have been to Rome. Any of these ring a bell? And first one sounds like it, I heard it. So I'm going to go for Rome's River is the Tiber. I'm going to yeah. lock it in. You want to lock that in? Yeah. <sighs> Wall, is Tiber right? You've <laughs> 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 still got £20,000 up there as we move on to your penultimate question. Here it is. In 2013, which European country Ooh. produced the most olive oil? Was it Spain, Greece, or Italy? Oh, they're cheeky answers, aren't they? Could be mm. any one of those three. Probably I would have thought about Spain first, but something is moving me to Greece. I'm going to go for the middle one. You want to lock in Greece? Lock it in. Let's lock in Greece. Oh, to keep column number nine, to keep the dream alive. Come on, Shane, <laughs> be kind. Wall, is Greece the right answer? Decimate. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. The answer we're looking for is <clears throat> Spain. Oh, Listen, it doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, this is still a great wall. <sighs> OK, you're still in the great position. We're now playing for £18,000. Question 10. Which song from Disney's 1940 film Pinocchio won an Academy Award? Was it Zippity Doo Dah, When You Wish Upon a Star, or A Whole New World? Do you know what? I thought you were going to give me three songs from Pinocchio there, which really? might have been a bit dodgy. The only song that was in Pinocchio was the middle one, wish, When You Wish Upon a Star. Yeah? I'm super confident. Let's lock in When You Wish Upon a Star to keep £18,000 on that wall. Is it the right answer? Get in there! <laughs> wall, that, that is fantastic. Rob, you have managed Ooh. to keep £18,000 and you've only decimated one column. Give him a big round of applause. Come and join your family. So, guys, we still have £18,000 in the game. We're going to rearrange the wall. I don't think it's going to change that much, but it's going to look like this. Wow. <clears throat> look at that. Well okay. done. That's well lovely. Done. Well done. Well done. Really? That's now worth £18,000. <laughs> Each column is now worth £1,800. So we have another big decision to make, guys. Who is going to play next? But before we decide, should we look at your keywords? Yep. Yes, let's, okay. have let's have a look. Let's have a look at these. Here we go. We have... Tom Daly, Indian State, Virginia Woolf, Wallace, Hong Kong, SLR, Vitamin, Bananarama, Chemical Symbol, and Landlocked. That could be either of you. I'll, okay. ta I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, you want to go for this, I'll Rachel? I'll go for okay. this one. Okay, well, it's up to Peter and Rob to give you as much information surrounding these words that will appear okay. in the questions. I'll we'll leave you 20 seconds. Wait for it, guys. Starts now. Tom Daly got a bronze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indian, States. Indian State. Yeah. Lots of states there. Uh, Wallace uh, and Gromit. Hong yes. Kong we gave back in 1999 or 8. Virginia Woolf and also, isn't she? Single-end reflexes yeah. of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Landlock, Rama. Kazakhstan, I think, is the biggest landlock country. OK. Virginia Woolf, what... Um, she Virginia author? Woolf, uh, uh, what did she write? What did she write? Uh, um, you're on your own. Right, okay. time's up. <laughs> OK. Ooh. Rachel, pressure's on now, sweetheart. Step forward and face the golden wall. Thank you. 
Or, as we should call it now, the Great Wall of Rock. I know, I've got a tough act to follow, uh, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. Tough act to but follow. But you're working great as a family, and that's really okay. important. Okay. So you've got four passbacks left and four yep. overalls. Okay. Ready for this, Rachel? I am as ready as I'll ever be. Good girl. Here comes your first question. Okay. Tom Daly won which medal at the 2012 London Olympics? Was it bronze, silver, or gold? I know this one. They all jumped into the pool at the end to celebrate his bronze medal. Yeah? Yeah. Should we lock that in? Let's lock it in, Shane. OK, we ain't messing around here now, are we, <laughs> Rachel? Let's lock in bronze to light up our first column. Is that the right answer? Yes! <laughs> Question number two. Which of these garments is named after a former Indian state? Okay. Is it jodhpurs, kaftan, or pyjamas? Well, jodhpurs rings a bell as there being an Indian state, something similar to that. I can't think of any Indian states that sound like kaftan or pyjamas, so I think I'm going to go for jodhpurs. OK, let's lock it in. To keep hold of £1,800. Is Rachel right? Well yes. done. Yes. <laughs> Question number three. Which of these is the title of a book by Virginia Woolf? Is it A Life of One's Own, A Room of One's Own, or A Book of One's Own? I think I'm going to pass it back, Shane, because I'm, I'm really not sure. We're going to pass it back. Um, um, well, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll do it the uh, only one... What would you go for? OK, we'll say it at the same time and then we'll say, so I okay. would go for... A, a life. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, right. well, that's narrowed it down, hasn't it, eh? Um, OK, so let's go with you. Oh, OK. Which one? A room of one's own is a pure guess. Do you want to lock that in? Yes, please. Let's lock in a room of one's own. Did Virginia Woolf write a room of one's own to protect column number three? Wall? Yeah! Well done! <laughs> well done, Peter. <laughs> right, question number four. OK. What was the main profession of MasterChef Judge Greg Wallace before he became a radio and TV presenter? Was it? A waiter, a chef, or a greengrocer? Oh, I was hoping in my head that food critic was going to come up. I had it in my head for some reason that he was a food critic. Um, I'm going to go with a greengrocer. You want to lock that in? Yes, let's lock that in. <laughs> Fellas aren't overruling you. <laughs> to keep £1,800 in column four, to keep £18,000 up there. Is greengrocer the right answer? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're chasing Woo! Rob's record here, aren't you? I eh? am, okay. I am. I can't have him beat me. No, you can't. We come up to question number five. Okay. Halfway. Here we go. In which year did Britain return the former colony of Hong Kong to Chinese rule? Was it 1987, 1997, or 2007? When we were doing the, the brief, Rob was try trying to tell me the year of that, and I can't remember... Either I don't remember what he said or we didn't get fully through it. Um, I'm going to go for 1987 and let them see if they, see if they agree or not. So you want to lock that in? I do, yes. Let's lock in 1987. <laughs> oh, there's an overall <laughs> from Dad Peter there. <laughs> You've overruled your own daughter. She thought it was 1987. What do you think? I think it's 1997. So, we're going to change Rachel's answer from 1987. We're going to lock in 1997. <laughs> to keep £1,800. Wall, it's up to you. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> well done, Dad. Well Thank done, you. Dad. Yeah. OK, as we move on to question number six, we're getting over halfway now, Rachel. OK. Here we go. In photography, SLR stands for single lens what? Is it reflex, return or refraction? 
So we talked this in the debrief, and okay. I'm pretty sure Rob said it was single lens reflex. I hope I remember that correctly. Mm. So I'd like to go for reflex, please. So you want to lock in reflex? I do, yes. We're not even going to think about it. Let's no. lock it in. Let's keep £18,000. Is reflex the right answer? Yes! yes. Ah. Oh, okay. Rachel, you've still got three passbacks and three overalls. You are in a brilliant position. Question number seven. Which vitamin is produced in the skin as a reaction to sunlight? Is it vitamin K, vitamin E, or vitamin D? I know this one, Shane. Do you? Um, yeah, I remember it from when I was pregnant that I was encouraged to go out a little bit in the sun because okay. the vitamin D is really good for the baby. So I'm going to say vitamin D. Yeah, you want to lock that in? Absolutely. Wall. Fingers crossed. Vitamin D. Yes. yes. Still got £18,000 on the wall. Here we go, okay. Rachel. Question number eight. Which of these songs was a hit single for Banana Rama? Was it Robert De Niro's Waiting, Grace Kelly, or Betty Davis' Eyes? I remember Banana Rama. I'm just about old enough to remember Banana Rama, and I remember the song very well. It's Robert De Niro's Waiting. Yeah? Yeah. You want to lock it in? Absolutely. <sighs> For another £1,800. Yes, please. Wall, Robert De Niro's Waiting. Yeah! <laughs> We've got eight in a row. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep a clean sheet. Let's keep it going. Yes, question nine. Here we go. The chemical symbol of which of these metals has only one letter? OK. Is it aluminium, nickel or uranium? Well, aluminium has definitely got more than one. I think it's AL. The other two I'm not so sure on. I'm going to go for uranium and see whether they agree or not. So you want to lock in uranium? Yes, let's lock in uranium, Let's Shane. lock in uranium. Oh, not, not hearing a buzzer. <laughs> no. To keep £18,000 up there. Wall, is uranium right? <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, fantastic. Now, it's £18,000 up there. It's a lot of money, Rachel. It's a Rachel. lot of money. Okay, let's see if we can get a clean sweep. Okay. Ready? Question yes. number 10. Which of these African countries is landlocked? Is it Mozambique, Ethiopia, or Namibia? Oh, I'm really not sure. My African geography is not good at right. all. Still got three passbacks so, and three yes. overalls. I'm torn between Mozambique and Namibia, but I'd be guessing, so I think I'm going to pass it back. OK, we're going to yeah. use up another pass back. What do you think, guys? You know it, don't you? I think so. I think... Well, Mozambique is an island, yeah. so that's that one I'm out. I'm sure Ethiopia is on the right-hand side It's of the on the coast, coast, I'm sure. So uh, my guess would be Namibia. I would go, would you with, go with Namibia, that? so... We'll so, go with Namibia. Okay, so we're going to lock in Namibia. Yes, we're locking please. the landlocked. We're locked in with Namibia. Wall. For ten columns in a row. Is this the right answer? Decimate. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. You were so confident as well. Oh, what a shame. Oh, no. What happened there? Oh, Let's find out what the right answer was. What is it? Really? It is oh. Ethiopia. That's the one I discounted. We now have 16,200. <laughs> We only decimated one column. Give a big round of applause. You've been fantastic. Go and join the family, Rachel. Come on, don't be disheartened. Do not be disheartened. Well done. Seriously, this is still a great game we're yeah, playing, brilliant OK? brilliant game. 16,200 up there, guys. Yeah. Let's rearrange those columns like this. OK. There they go. Wow. Each column is now worth £1,620. It's all down to you, Peter. But before we start your game, let's have a look at your keywords. We have Bake Off, Romance, Quadrilaterals, Cross, Wedding, Chocolate, Bodyline, Underground, Member, Floral Dress. 
I think you're Rachel, going. Rob, yeah. are you ready? Try and give Peter as much help as possible. Your briefing starts 20 seconds now. Bake Off is Paul Hollywood, Mary Berry, won last year by Francis. Yep. Uh, Romance is gypsy language, I think. Um, mm, probably, yeah, quad, I think so, yeah. Oh, OK, quadrilaterals are the front of yes, your... Yes, uh, yeah. uh, Underground, thighs. King's Cross is the busiest yep. yeah. number of lines yep. on the underground. Yeah. Body line could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. Floral, yeah. dress, yeah. dirndl, yeah. or, or um, smock, or pinafore. Yeah. Right, time's up. Peter, it's all down to you now. Please step forward and face the golden wall. Great, Dad. So it was the golden wall of Rob, then it became the golden wall of Rachel. Can you carry that baton oh. on and become the golden wall of Peter now? Remind you, you've got two pass backs left and three overalls. So we're in okay. a great position here, OK? The first question is worth £1,620. You ready to play, Peter? Sure, let's Come on, do let's it. have it. OK, let's, let's have it. Question number one. Here we go. 2010, who joined Mary Berry as the co-judge of the Great British Bake Off? Was it James Martin, Nigel Slater or Paul Hollywood? Ah, well, only a cafe. I ought to know a little bit about if you don't, baking I'll be and very cooking. very disappointed. So on this one, I do know it's Paul Hollywood. Yeah? Paul Hollywood it is, please. To start you on your journey across the Great Wall, is Paul Hollywood the right answer? Yes! Oh. 16,200, still on that wall. That's brilliant, mate. Question number two. Romanche is one of the official languages of which country? Is it Switzerland, Romania or Luxembourg? Well, obviously, you'd think immediately it was Romania. Uh, Switzerland, I think the language is there generally French and German. Uh, Luxembourg, I think, is mainly French as well. Uh, so everything points towards Romania. Um, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that and see if either of them overrule me. You want to lock in Romania? Lock in Romania, please. Shane. Let's lock it in. Oh! Rachel has overruled you. Rachel, what are you thinking, darling? I just don't think it's Romania. Something is saying Switzerland. It sounds a bit too obvious to be Romania. Yeah. So Luxembourg is near Belgium, but they've got, they got Flemish and that sort of thing. Does Flemish sound like Romanche? And it's not yeah. far from Belgium yeah. and all that. Yeah, I think we'll go with Luxembourg. I Shall think we go yeah, with Luxembourg? I think we go with Luxembourg. We think we're going to go with Luxembourg. Luxembourg. So, you want to change the answer and yes. lock in Luxembourg? Yes. yes. OK, let's do yes. that. Let's change it from Romania <laughs> to Luxembourg. Yes. Was Rachel right to overrule her dad? Wall, what's the right answer? Decimate. No! Oh, sorry, Peter. Sorry, Dad. It's, it's going to be Mania. Switzerland now, isn't Let's it? have a look. The right answer is... Yeah. Oh, Rachel, your hunch was right. Why didn't you stick with it? <sighs> there is now £14,580 on the wall. As we move on to question number three. Which of these quadrilaterals has only one pair of parallel sides? Is it rhombus, trapezium, or rectangle? OK. Uh, of course, parallel sides. Rhombus, I'm sure, is not. Trapezium, I know, is not. So I'm going to say rectangle. I'm sure it's rectangle. Are okay. you sure? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty confident it's rectangle. Are you 1,620 pounds sure? <laughs> oh, you put it that way. Yes, I am. Yeah. Right. Yeah, lock it in, please. Locked in. And Rob is overruling. Ooh. Guys, remember what happened last time you oh, overruled? No. Got one pair of parallel sides. Yeah. Whereas a rectangle's got two pairs of parallel sides. Yeah. The answer is trapezium. Do you want to change your dad's answer and change it to trapezium? Yes, please. Yes. Let's lock in trapezium. £1,620. Wall. Yes! Great overall. Well played, Rachel. Well done, Rachel. We've still got £14,580 on the wall. Question four. Sure. Under what symbol does the International Red Cross operate in Muslim countries? Is it red circle, red crescent, or a red crown? Um, I'm sure it's not a red crown. I, my gut feeling is red crescent, because I've seen that or heard of that before. You've got two passbacks left. I think I'll pass it back. OK, we're going to use another passback. 
Rachel, Rob, is it Red Circle, Red Crescent, or Red Crown? No, I, we didn't have any no, idea. No, we don't either. know. Really? Um, I mean, I'm Think. kind of inclined to agree that it's unlikely to be Red Crown. Yeah, and Red Circle, Japanese flag. Yeah. Confusing. Yeah. So I would. Hope I'd for go red for it, yeah. Should we lock in Red Crescent? Yeah. yeah. Let's lock that answer in. To keep £14,580 on the wall. Is Red Crescent the right answer? Yes! Go, go, go! We've still got 14 and a half grand up there, buddy, OK? <laughs> Great. Great game. Question five. Traditionally, how many years of marriage are celebrated on a crystal wedding anniversary? Is it 15, 20, or 30? 30, I'm sure, is ruby. Uh, crystal, it's not quite as valuable as silver at 25, so maybe it's 20. Uh, sounds too short a period for 15 years. So I would say let's uh, lock in 20, please, Shay. OK, let's lock in 20. For £1,620. Wall. Is 20 the right answer? Decimate. No! No, no, no. The answer we were looking for was, in fact... 15. 15. Oh, well. 15. Crystal wedding anniversary, OK? <clears throat> Let's move on from that. Let's not even think about that, OK? There's still £12,960, all right, buddy? As we move on to question number six. The rich chocolate cake, Saka Torta, was created in which European city? Was it Prague, Vienna, or Geneva? You familiar <laughs> with this cake? Not in the slice. Never heard of it. I haven't got a clue. Um, so I think I'll choose something and see if they overrule me. Vienna. So we're going to lock in Vienna? Yes, please. You sure Shane. you want to do that? Yes, please. Let's lock it in. To protect another £1,620. Wall, is that the right answer? Yes! Well oh. done! Here! Great stuff! Man. I knew more than Coach, I thought. you did well done. Yeah. Question number seven. In the 1930s, the so-called bodyline tactic was used by England to beat Australia in which sport? Was it football, rugby union, or cricket? Sport is not my subject. Right. I don't know very much about sport at all. Uh, never heard of body line. Um, and I wasn't surprisingly around the 30s, so I'm not looking good for this. Um, I'll go for rugby union, and then if they don't agree or Rachel doesn't agree, she can overrule me. So That'll should we lock fine. in rugby union? Yes, please. Let's lock in rugby union to protect column number seven. One thousand six hundred and twenty pounds. Wall, is rugby union the right answer? Decimate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what was the sport? It was cricket. Cricket, cricket. but it was I a wouldn't guess. have guessed that. No. no. Okay. Because we're now playing for eleven thousand three hundred and forty pounds. It's question number eight. Which of these cities does not have an underground railway system? Is it Manchester, Glasgow, or Newcastle upon Tyne? Uh, Newcastle's got a metro system, so I'm fairly comfortable that we can say Newcastle has got an underground. I've been to Glasgow once, so don't know what I can remember seeing any underground stations, um, but then I don't know that I've seen it in Manchester either. I think I'll choose one and see if they overrule me. Okay, either. which one do you want to choose? Glasgow. Let's lock in Glasgow. <laughs> and Rob is overruling. Rob, <sighs> it's the last and final <laughs> overrule. Well, uh, my husband can shout at me later <laughs> that I'm going to overrule him right for Manchester. Let's change the answer to Manchester. To protect column number eight. Is Manchester the right answer? Yes! Well done! Well done! We've still got 
1,340 on that wall. Well Great done. Stuff. To protect another 1,620 pounds, okay? Here comes question number nine. Which of these countries is not a member of the European Union? Is it Denmark, Norway, or Finland? My, my, gut, my first reaction is Finland. Um, but I, I'm not sure. I think I will pass it back. OK, we're going to use up our last pass and final Hope pass right. back <laughs> to Rachel and Rob. Guys. You're mean, Peter. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Guys, which of these countries is not a member of the European Union? My initial thought would be Finland. I'm happy to go with it. I don't have okay, well, any other... OK, so we will, without any better knowledge, go for Finland. Yeah. Lock Let's in. lock in Finland. To light up column nine. Wall. Is Finland the right answer? Decimate. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't Finland. Let's find out what the answer is before we move on. The answer we're looking for was Norway. Norway. We're now down to 9,720. So a lot of money. Of course it is. Ooh. Now, Peter, there's no more overalls. No. There's no more passbacks. No. Next column is worth 1,620 pounds. It's your last question. A brightly patterned, usually floral dress popular in the 1870s is named after which Dickens character? Is it Kate Nickleby, Betsy Trotwood, or Dolly Varden? Do you know any of these characters, by the way, from any Dickens? No, I don't. <laughs> I'll say... Lock in Dolly Varden, please, Shane. Is it just a hunch? Complete guess. To keep £9,720 bring that with us into the end game. Wall. Dolly Varden. Yes or no? Yes! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> oh, you've done How it. Is that? Well done. Good. You've managed to keep £9,720 on the golden wall. Well Brilliant. done, buddy. Go and join the family. Well, great game. Whoa. Great game. This is the end game, the chance to win that money you've worked so hard for. £9,720. Now, here's how it works. We're going to divide that cash once more into ten equal columns. And it's going to look like this. There's a lot of money up there, guys. £9,720 on that there wall. Now, to leave with the cash, you must work your way across the wall one last time. But the only difference is now, you've only got two minutes to do it. But to help you, we'll give you three chances to light up each column. If you fail, you lose that column and it's cash. And another member of your team must take over from where you left off. Now, if you fail to light up all ten columns, then sadly, you're going to leave here with nothing. <sighs> so, before we decide who's going to play, let's look at your ten key words. They are Mississippi, Kate Winslet, carbon dioxide, Royal Residence, Formula One, White, Pineapple, Impressionist, South, and Lincoln. So, big decision to make, guys. Who's going to come up and face the wall and bring that money home? Who's it going to be? Well, I think it um, wasn't uh, the best wall, Rachel. Uh, shall I take it on? So, you go first. Yeah. Go on, I'll Rachel. Go first, Clear the wall for us. Rachel, it's all down to you. Come and join me, sweetheart. So, okay. here we go. OK. Lie up all ten columns within the time, and you, Peter and Rob, will be leaving with £9,720. Yes, please. You get up to three questions per column, and they do get easier. Okay. But the longer it takes you to get one right, the more the precious time you're going to use up. Yeah. Should you get all three questions wrong in any column, I'm afraid you're going to have to go back to the bench, pass the baton on to either Peter or Rob. OK. Let's put two minutes on the clock. That time will start when I finish reading the first question. Good luck, Rachel. Thank you. Mississippi. Which American author wrote the 1883 novel Life on the Mississippi? Pass. Mark Twain. The song about the Mississippi Old Man River is from which musical? Oh, um, 
Oh, South Pacific? No, showboat. The Mississippi River lies entirely within which country? Uh, America, United States of America. Correct. Kate Winslet. In which 2006 animated film does Kate Winslet provide the voice of a rat called Rita? Oh, pass. It's flushed away. Kate Winslet's third husband, Ned Rock and Roll, is the nephew of which businessman? Uh, Richard Branson. Correct. Carbon dioxide. What sun-powered process do plants use to turn carbon dioxide into chemical energy? Photosynthesis. Correct. Royal residence. In which former royal residence is Queen Victoria's mausoleum? Pass. Frogmore House. Which palace is the official royal residence in Edinburgh? Uh, Sandringham. No, Holyrood House. At major events, the royal family appear on the balcony of which royal residence in London? Buckingham Palace. Correct. Formula One. How is Formula One driver Bruno Senna related to the late Ayrton Senna? He's his nephew. Correct. White. Published in 2000, which author's debut novel was White Teeth? Uh, pass. Zadie Smith. In which US TV drama series is Walter White the central character? Breaking Bad. Correct. Pineapple. In the 2008 film Pineapple Express, who plays Del Denton? Pass. Seth Rogen. The title character of which animated TV show lives in a pineapple in Bikini Bottom? SpongeBob SquarePants. Correct. Impressionist. In 1998, Tony Blair was prank called by which impressionist pretending to be William Hague? Oh, pass. John Coleshaw. A famous series of images of ballet dancers was painted by the impressionist Edgar Who? Uh, pass. Dagar. The impressionist movement was centred in which country? Uh, France. Correct. South. The Beautiful South's first UK top ten single had what title? Uh, pass. Song for whoever. What is the capital of South Korea? Uh, pass. Seoul. Which duo composed the music and lyrics for South Pacific? Uh, Sondheim and a uh, pass. No, stop the clock. Decimate. I'm afraid that's the third wrong answer. The answer we were looking for was Rogers and, and Hammerstein. Right, the clock has been stopped, the money has been decimated, and Rachel, I'm afraid you must now step down. <laughs> we have to rebuild the wall. We're now down to £8,748. We need a new keyword to replace South, which is wolf. So, Peter and Rob, one of you must now step up and try and complete the journey across the wall. Who's it going to be? It's going to be me. Rob, will Good you luck. please step forward? You got it, Rob. Right, Rob, as I said, we're playing for £8,748. There are still five seconds left on the clock. OK? Right. Now, the clock will restart when I finish asking this question. Good luck. Wolf. The narrated orchestral work Peter and the Wolf is by which Russian Prokofiev. composer? No, Prokofiev. The Wolf of Wall Street was directed by which filmmaker? Decimate. So... Peter, Rachel, come and join Rob. I'm afraid you guys are going to be leaving with nothing. But can I say, Rob, can I say, can I say well played, Rob. Thank you so much for being a great sport. Thank, thank you, you so much, Rachel. Well, that was good. Thank you. Well. Loved you it. did brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. You did well. great fun. Right. Well, join me next time to see if the team can take home a huge cash prize or whether they'll be decimated. Take care, everybody. Look after yourselves. Bye bye. <laughs>